welcome back to my channel. If you're anything like me, you want to ball on a budget, right? You want to look good, you want to wear cute things, you want to seem cute, and then make a TikTok. If you're, if this sounds like you, you're exactly like me. And so when this store cider popped up in my feed, I was like, I should buy some things from them. You know, new brands, we don't know much about them. I'm gonna be doing a little research investigation to see, hey, is this brand really as good as they put themselves out to be? You know, it started with Brandy Melville. Oh wow, they have really cute stuff. Oh no, they're racist. What about cider, right? It seems a little bit too good to be true. So I'm gonna kind of go through that in this video. We're in a new corner of my bedroom right now. Ew. Is it possible to get the ache from yourself? We're in a new corner. Well, the same corner, just a different camera angle because this is, I am officially calling it my research nook. So let's get started. Keep in mind, I could be completely wrong about this. They might be doing something, I don't know, behind the scenes. All right, so I'm on the Instagram of Shop Cider. Now everyone is complaining that customer service sucks, the delivery wasn't delivered, they didn't get their items in over a month. This seems to be a common theme on their Instagram, so, you know, looking at this, yes, their clothes might be cheap and they might also be cute, but is it really worth it? I mean, worrying for a couple of weeks where your money has gone and trying to get a refund but not getting a reply. How they make their clothes, they claim that they have factories in China and that they're trying to become more sustainable. They drop ship. They're just the middleman between you and sellers on AliExpress. And that's the reason why you can actually find these clothes for much cheaper on AliExpress if you go look. For example, the famous Heart Wave sweater here, I literally see it on AliExpress for a lot less, I think $7 less than what Cider is putting it up for. I also found another link and it's even cheaper than that. It's only $21.99. Of course, I don't know if these sellers are legit or not, but you definitely aren't getting the cheapest option when you buy from Cider. Even the Go With The Flow skater skirt, it's just a white tennis skirt that you can easily buy on Amazon. I even bought it myself. I'll show you right now. This skirt that I got a while ago, it looks exactly the same as the one Cider is selling, except I bought it for or less than $20. If you buy it on Cider, you also have to pay for shipping, you also have to worry about where your money is going, you have to worry about everything, and honestly, it's just not worth it. I know that sustainability isn't the best option for people right now because for some reason, sustainability isn't cheap. Just know that Cider is not a sustainable brand. They may claim that they are trying to become more sustainable, but I don't see how. I could be 100% wrong in saying it here. The point is, I don't think it's a good brand and you're not getting your money's worth you should not buy from cider Once again, it is a new day. I got my morning coffee right here. I'm growing a bit concerned over my package. I was going to do a haul and I was gonna go over sizing and material and quality and all of that, but my items are here so I can't do a haul. I received a confirmation email from them as well as a your order has been shipped email from them. And if I try to track my order, it leads me to a random site on their domain. So it's not like it's on UPS's domain or another other shipping websites domain is on their shop domain so I can't track their order and all they gave me was the order ID the logistics number and that the fact that the shipment information has been received so I have no idea where my package is right now. At this point, I'm considering it lost money because I can't track my order. I'm not gonna cancel it just in case it does come. So when it does, or if it does at all, I will do another follow-up video with the haul and going over quality and stuff. But for now, it's just, it's not leading me anywhere and I'm a bit concerned. 
Alright, voiceover Rella is here. The first place is Blush Market. Also, sorry for the really crappy microphone. Turns out I'm not getting a new one anytime soon. Some of my favorite things from this brand are this bodysuit, and yes, these famous Patrick pants. They are pretty cheap. This dress as well, and this cardigan. They're all so cute. Next, we have Windsor, and I used to buy my homecoming and prom dresses from here all the time, but they also sell clothes, which is kind of amazing to me for a pretty good price, so go check them out. I stumbled across Shop Priceless in a TikTok, and their things are honestly so cute and for a good price. This bag reminds me of the Jacquemus designer bag that goes for about $500, I believe, which is honestly a really big steal. One of my favorite options though is shopping on Etsy, Depop, or Instagram. You get to support small businesses like this Etsy business, Arts and Dinks, which is personally one of my favorites. They have really cute earrings and all less than $10, which is amazing to me. As for Depop, just look at these pictures. I mean, do I need to say anything more than that? And finally, Instagram has a lot of small businesses as well. One of my personal favorites is Charlie Spirits. I actually wore the necklace earlier in this video. They sell spiritual jewelry and it is so cute! Finally, finally, never underestimate a good sales section. For example, an expensive brand like Urban Outfitters can have amazing things on clearance. Another brand I really like is Bershka and Oh my gosh, their clearance is amazing. Pretty self-explanatory. I only listed two brands, but this applies to almost every store. Currently editing this video, and I filmed this over the course of a couple of days, but I forgot to do the outro, so I'm filming the outro right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you decide whether or not you want to buy from Cider. I also hope, I also hope you, I also hope, I also hope that I helped you realize that there are a lot of better places to buy from, but as for my own Cider package, I will also keep you updated with it if it ever comes hopefully it will but if it doesn't that's totally okay i mean it's not okay but it's fine like i guess i'm also going to be shouting out someone down in the comments below of this video in the end screen of my next video so if you want to be shouted out in my next video just leave a comment down below again thank you so much for watching and i appreciate you all take care of yourself i will see you very soon and thank you for 200 subscribers.